My name is Julia Duras, Hodgkin's lymphoma. I'm from Lyman, Maine. I went to the doctor because, you know, I thought maybe my blood sugar was wrong or, you know, I don't know. And I remember him saying to me, you know, we're going to find out why you're tired all the time. I don't think it's anything serious like cancer or anything. <laughs> he totally said that and I was like, okay, that's good. You know, as shocking as a cancer diagnosis is, it was an answer to why I'd been feeling so sick. And once I started treatments, I started feeling better because I had more energy, which I know is kind of the opposite of what you think chemo would do. And then I think after a little while, after a few treatments, I was like, oh yeah, I really do have cancer. <laughs> you know, like, um, you know, the thought of losing my hair was really hard. You know, there were certainly big obstacles that I had to deal with in the first few weeks of my diagnosis. When I first started treatments, I didn't really have time to do anything about preserving fertility because I was so, so sick. I had to start treatment right away and I knew that and so I was okay with that. However, my kind of thought was cancer was one year of my life but having children and a family is the rest of my life, you know? I have a whole life to live after dealing with cancer. So we just had to find alternative ways to be able to make that happen which was, a, you know, certainly had its ups and downs but we were successful.